Hey dudes, I'm Curious Oddity 101, but you can call me Kiri, and welcome to Yotun Valhalla Edition. I probably just butchered the pronunciation of that. I don't know any Scandinavian pronunciation rules, uh, so I apologize in advance for butchering the pronunciation of everything in this game. Also, um, I actually am having to record this for a second time. My initial recording, something went wrong, and I didn't know it until after I was done uh, trying to record it. So... I've actually played this up to the first mini boss, I think. I haven't played beyond that though, so it shouldn't cause too much of a difference in my playstyle. Um. This game is so beautiful. It's an art piece more than anything. Iman the Hyodin. Þegar viðurinn splundraðist, ílbrinu í vindinu og öldu skellum í andleiti mínu. Úð mín fröys og kulda sem var ólíkur öllu sem ég hafði áður upplifað og skipið okkur sem. Í vægðarlausu djúpi sjáverins tók hálf gegsætt neðat ránar við mér. Ég var dregin dýpra og dýpra í átt að giðju sjáverins. Dauðin vætt komin til að sækja mig. Baráttu vilji sálar minnar myndi ekki næja til að slökva þórsta ránar í bráð sína. Myrkri kom, en þegar ég vaknaði var ég ekki í höll þangs og beina, heldur í kyrð og þögn. One of the things I really like about this is I'm kind of used to games uh, when they have any sort of English localization at all, everything is in English. Um, but it's, I think it's really nice to hear this game in its proper language during the cutscenes. Yeah, you see what I mentioned? This is just so gorgeous. I really love the art style in this game. I think it's honestly very sweet. Thinking in a new home. I didn't mean to talk over that. So, um, I guess a little bit of background. I don't know how to pronounce Scandinavian stuff, and I don't know a whole lot about Norse mythology, but I do know a little bit about Norse mythology, and the term Jotun refers to a any uh, number of giants who... Uh, we're frequently in conflict with the gods. So, uh, you know, look forward to giants, I guess. The Barrow Man, Jotunheim. I don't know if it's Jotunheim or Jotunheim. I hverju borði þarf að finna eina rúm. Þegar hún hefur verið fundin, ræður þú hvort þú heldur áfram að kanna svæðið eða snýrð aftur í Ginnunga Gap. Uh, however you pronounce it. I've tried to say it right. I hope I did. Uh, that's the void between the between uh, Midgard and one of the other worlds. I I want to say Muspel, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, also, there's like I mentioned, I recorded this before. There's no actual way around this route. I have to go through it. Well, it's not a route. It's uh, it's a branch. It's a branch of Yggdrasil, the world tree. I think probably regular. No, wait, no, I tried it before. Regular attacks don't do anything to these. Okay, those are poisonous clouds. The blue flowers don't heal you, but they uh, cure poison. Found that out the hard way. I thought maybe since they cured poison, they also healed you. I ended up dying. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is a timing puzzle, so. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that actually is. I, at first I thought it was one of the rooms that was mentioned. It's not. Uh, you have to find three of them and they unlock the way to the next room, I guess. I don't know a whole lot about this game just yet because I haven't played that far into it. This is beautiful. Um, this fountain actually heals you, so I'm going to leave it alone for now because I don't need healing. I think it's there because 
Well, if this is your first time playing, like with mine, it's really easy to get damaged in that puzzle on the way here. This is what I collected so far. Seriously, look how beautiful this art is. Oh no. Ah, got poisoned. I don't think poison damage wears off in this game. I think you actually have to find a blue flower. But if you stand next to a blue flower when the poison first engulfs you, it actually protects you from getting poisoned in the first place, so that's nice. See? No poison. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna get poisoned too. Ah, crud, I got poisoned again. Where is another flower? There's another flower. This is, uh, I think those are plants too, based on the stuff that waves around when they're actually spewing poison everywhere. At first I thought they were like swamp gas bubbles, or maybe they're fungi. They could be fungi. Whoa. Uh, also, I have had some issues with a little bit of lag in this game. That's not because of the game. Um, I'm actually playing this on the PC version, and my computer is really not great. Just get through this timing puzzle without dying. I don't think I went this way before. It's over here. Okay, I think this just loops back around. Oh, no. No, it doesn't. I've never been to this area before. Is that... Is that from Hilda? Healed me. Me hmm. Frigg, the wife of Odin and queen of the gods. Wow. So there's, uh, whoa. <laughs> Thorny branches. Let's not stay too close to those. There's obviously a lot more to this than I actually explored on my first playthrough, partially because on my first playthrough I wasn't very good at avoiding toxic gas, so um, I was running pretty low on health the whole time. Whoa, I've never been here either. A golden apple? What's this? What was that? <laughs> I've of course. <laughs> this is actually a mythological figure I knew about, the Keeper of the Golden Apples, but I completely forgot. <laughs> wow, I need to brush up on, on my Norse mythology knowledge because I've forgotten so much. Oh, this place is so beautiful. I, I know I keep saying that. Um, I'll shut up about it eventually. This is just such a pleasant uh, aesthetic to me. Oops. <laughs> I ran directly into a blue flower. I don't know what they're act what they're uh, what they are, what they reference as far as mythology is concerned, or even if they maybe don't reference anything and they're just a gameplay mechanic. Oof. I need to get out of here before those thorny branches start attacking me. Ah, here's the next one I was supposed to find. Whoa! 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 Mahtur Dísan, I te arjúva insigli grafuxins. Okay, I'm gonna have to run through here without getting clobbered. 
I could run down, but I think it's a clearer path up. Oh, they do disappear after a while. See, uh, the last time I did this, I got that point um, by coming uh, from a different angle. And then I just went back to where I came from afterwards. I never even saw the statue of Frigg. I should have been more careful. I didn't even watch the timing. Let's see. Oh. Walking into walls is not helpful. Oh no. Oh no. I got caught on a tree! No! Oh no. Poisoned again. I think there's probably other stuff I'm missing. Um, I might be able to come back to this area later. So if you see me miss any content, if you've, you know, seen this game before or played it yourself or anything like that, and you want to see me seeing it for the first time, you know, drop a comment in and I'll see if I can come back to it uh, later in the game. I didn't even realize I'd gotten all three of them. I thought I'd only gotten two. This is, uh, who was buried under the mound. Whoops, whoops. This one doesn't respond super well to large, to, uh, attacks that take a long time to uh, do until you know what you're doing. Ah, oh, burn it! There we go. Yeah, and he grows throughout this fight. Like, the more damage he takes, the bigger he gets. Although that doesn't actually seem to give him much in the way of an advantage. Oh! Oh! I didn't know I could do that! Okay, so that button seems to call the power of the last goddess who gave me their power? That's neat, so I can heal myself using that. I was trying to press the roll button and I pressed the wrong button by mistake. There we go. See, at this point he slowed down enough that I can do that. Oops. Okay, so I can cancel that attack by rolling. I didn't know that. Okay, I think I just completely missed him there. Oops. Oops. Let's see. Gotcha. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. May you thus a sick new Alright, I'm gonna heal myself again. Oh, okay, so it seems like it only works once. Okay, that's good to know, but hey, now I know I can do that. Um, I'm gonna go over to the healing well. Mimir refreshes your spirit. In Helgi Mimis Brunner, that's in your fortna de oiga minu. Um, it talks about sacrificing an eye, so I think that that's talking about Odin, but like, 
obviously there's some mythological context I am missing here because, like I mentioned before, I haven't really brushed up on Norse mythology in a while. Okay, what's over this way again? Because I thought I had to go this way to get one of the runes. Or not runes, one of the things to open the barrow. Or was this the way I came in? Well, nope, this was not the way I came in. Ah, crud. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's get it over here. Is this way? Maybe it Oh, no, wait. This is the one that loops back around. That was it. Because this is where I went before, and then I didn't go up and find the statue of Frigg. That was why I got confused about the number of those that I'd unlocked. Oops. I do love learning about, you know, different religions and stuff like that, which is the reason for the small amount I do know about Norse mythology. Okay, into the Barrow Mound I go. Giant cow skull. Okay. So... Whoa. <laughs> I just walked right across the pad. Um, considering that the giantess I'm, uh, I just unlocked the rune for, it says is one with nature and stuff like that, I think she's controlling the thorn vines that attacked me. Oops, wrong here. Now, oh, right, right, okay, it said to keep exploring or go to, uh, Ginungagap. Ginungagap. I'm not, I would, I'd have to see it, I'm sorry. Uh, and I think what happened was I went, I, uh, tried to explore a little bit more, got killed, and you wake up in, uh, Ginungagap if you get killed, and from there you can proceed to, uh, the next boss fight. So, I'm actually just going to, I'm gonna just, uh, go there now, I think. Whoa. I can't. Okay. Maybe I need to be in the barrel mound to go. Hmm. No, I can't. Well, it says return, so... Anyway. It's interesting to see what was what he was buried in. Oh, right! Uh, I'm supposed to go the way where all the clouds are. <laughs> Silly me. The void. Okay, so it's Ginungagap. No, it's Ginungagap. There's only okay. Blah. Til a maita hinu máttugu jötnum þáttu að finna rúnirnar sem eru faldar víðsvegar um ríkin. Sigraðu jötnana og sannaðu þig fyrir góður. Oops. Wait. Okay, so I can still use her ability- uh, Oh, is that what the counter in the right-hand side of the screen is for? If- because if that's the case, then I'm not sure why I wasn't able to use it before, because I think that was at, like, three? Oh well. Maybe I can- like, maybe there's a cooldown time that I wasn't paying attention to. Can we just appreciate how uh, the void here is um, depicted? Look at this. This is just so beautiful. Uh, also, since the archway had the rune on it, presumably this is the only doorway I can go through now because this is the only rune I found so far. Okay. Yara, I think is how you pronounce that. Yar, run upskere, frjosemi. 
og jarðar. Okay. Harvest fertility and health. Um, now I know a bit more of what I'm doing. Uh, I actually got here a lot faster th this time than the first time I recorded this. Um, and maybe I might actually win this time? I don't know. Cross your fingers for me, okay? Look at that. The lotus. At least I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a lotus. I mean, it, it fits the same aesthetic as the Thunder Lotus logo. And there she is, the giantess. Okay. Oh, whoop. I need to not run directly into her attack. I actually, um, because of my previous fight with her, I kind of know her attack pattern now. Uh, whoa, darn it. Oh, wow, I, that didn't hit? How did that not hit? Anyway, I I died a lot <laughs> my first time trying this, and I never actually beat her because I kind of ran out of time. Oops, I did a normal attack that time instead of a uh, attack. Whoa. 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 I don't know. Maybe I'll actually, like, win this time. But it'll probably take me a few more tries, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Poison Lotus, Poison Lotus! Okay, I managed to get to the flower in time. Actually, part of my problem was I would run directly into her attacks before. By accident, of course. Okay, oops. Right, uh, hitting the Lotus in her uh, belly does a lot of Damage. And I forgot about this part. I'm really zoomed out, which makes navigation difficult for me. Oh no, oh no, let's get to the flower. Ah. Okay, I got to the flower just barely in time. Oh no, ah, man, oh no. <laughs> she knocked me directly into the path of some of the thorn vines. And I got stuck on it right there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, let's go. There was no way to avoid that. Okay, cool. No, no, come on, let's go. Oh wow, her poison cloud stayed up longer that time, I think. Nope, nope, no. Wait, how did that not hit me? Come on, stop attacking the root and attack her, please. Okay, okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Oh crap, oh crap, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. I think I'm out of healing from here, and I took some damage. Not sure what specific attack hit me, but... Uh... Seems like- whoa! Okay. Um... Yeah, I haven't gotten this far in this battle before, so- oh no! <sighs> Seems like I'm kinda stuck. Oh no! I think I just died. Yeah, I died. I have failed to impress the gods. I'm sorry. This is actually, um, now that I kind of know what I'm doing, this is a really well-designed boss fight, I think. Oh, okay, I restarted this with two humans, or whatever those are. I think they're uh, the number of times I can heal you. Let's see what happens when I stay here. Okay, no. 
Oh, it's because she leans forward. Okay, so if I'm like right next to her, her arms don't hit me, but if she leans, then that hits me. That's good to know. Ah, crud. Well, I'm probably gonna die again, but at least now I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. Yeah, um... I forgot to roll to cancel the attack. Whoops. Great. Yeah, don't run directly into her while she's doing the attack. Got it. Oh, got stuck on a root there. Yeah. I just died again. <laughs> well, I know a little bit more about her attacks now, so let's see how this goes. Uh, now, one thing I did notice uh, is this animation knocks you back, so you can't start right next to her. I did this as you guys probably saw I was being a lot more careful than I was just now so I'll try being more careful again that seemed to help uh, this is probably gonna be the entire rest of the episode is me trying to defeat her I hope that's not too disappointing for anyone to unpoison myself with it. Yep. Okay, great. No, no. I'm not sure how that didn't hit me. It really should have. Okay, okay, run, run! Roots, just like the oh, or are they, maybe they are roots. Maybe they're not branches. I'm not sure. Whatever they are, I can attack them like normal. That's good. I didn't know I could do that in this fight. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm gonna get hit by a root or thorn branch or whatever those are.
Okay. The second attack does hit to this side. That's good to know. Well, um, I guess that's a good stopping point. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, or if you would like to, uh, yell at me for my lousy technique in fighting the nature giantess, uh, please do like and subscribe. And if there is anything I missed, feel free to, you know, drop me a comment if there's something you'd like me to go back and take a look at. Um, so yeah, thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next video.